Great Scott. Great Scott. Great Scott. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Great Scott. I'm Scotty V, and thank you for watching. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about costumes. So, the Avengers opens today. Everyone's excited about it. I'm jumping up and down, I know that, even though I'm mainly a, a DC guy, and even though I haven't liked the Batman films, and even though I loved Spider-Man, I loved Hulk, I loved The Incredible Hulk, I loved Spider-Man 2, I loved Iron Man, Iron Man 2 was pretty good, I loved Thor, Captain America was a bit of a disappointment for me, and uh, the X-Men movies, X-Men First Class, Loved them, didn't like uh, Wolverine. But I uh, have a feeling that I'm really going to enjoy this Avengers movie. Now, how does this relate to Superman? Recently, I've been talking about the changes in the new 52 universe and also uh, the changes that some people are complaining about in the Man of Steel movie. The trunks have been removed and the new costume looks a little bit textured maybe in the film in the comics they've talked about it being armor they've talked about it being part of his kryptonian society part of his his linkage to his birth planet and i think it's kind of cool that he's wearing a uniform that's similar to the types of uniforms that his people on krypton might have worn it makes sense that he might have been inspired to design his uniform to look a little more alien to look a little more like it's from the planet krypton as opposed to maybe really light blue tights and a cape that might have been designed by his mother or might not have been. In the Donner films, which a lot of the uh, people who really have a problem with the changes to the uniform, um, it isn't even explained where he got his uniform from. They don't even mention that his mother might have made it or that it's based on Kryptonian uh, style or anything. He just has it at one minute. So as good as many people still like to think those movies were for Superman, it wasn't all that clear and a lot of things didn't come out. Some things they just threw in, made up, Krypton being this crystal planet with snow everywhere and a tiny little society. Just things they decided to make because they thought they would be cool and at times they were. And the reason I bring up the Avengers and other superheroes is that uh, a lot of people are up in arms about how this isn't the real Superman, he has briefs, he doesn't have textured uh, clothing, he wears tights, and uh, no one's going to care if he has his briefs on the outside, it's not that big a deal. Uh, all my life as a Superman fan, I've heard about how lame Superman is because he's too much of a Boy Scout, because he saves cats from trees, because he wears his underwear on the outside. Now, first of all, I've defended this before because all superheroes in general wore their underwear on the outside. Uh, in the beginning, Batman, Superman... Uh, Robin, you know, all these people, they've somewhat modeled and changed their uniforms. But if you look at the comics until very recently, um, uh, even Batman has changed. He has, he's all black. Um, uh, and and, and uh, in, in the movies, he wears this rubberized kind of latex bulletproof suit. In the comics, he's still wearing the gray and black with the separation in the panty area. Uh, not now, because everyone kind of has this armored type look and uh, people are complaining about that but in the movies they did change it and and I don't really think I don't remember anybody making a big deal first of all it makes sense the guy jumping around as Batman with no powers should have armor he's going to be shot at uh, it only makes sense if you were a superhero in today's day and age and you had the money that Bruce Wayne has you would have that type of uniform look at the X-Men movies uh, they knew going in that bright yellow and blue uniforms with these weird arms sticking out uh, shoulder pad type things wouldn't work so they redesigned them. Yes they're leathery and black and people have had a complaint about that as well but they look much cooler and work much more functionally on screen than the bright yellow and blue would have worked. Uh, uh, look at Spider-Man. Spider-Man is supposed to be a teenage kid who gets powers and decides to uh, become Spider-Man because he feels responsible for his Uncle Ben's death and he makes his own uniform and he has no money and he goes around and then is Spider-Man but in the movie he has this awesome kind of thick rubberized also kind of latexy it's a different kind of a material that they're using in the superhero movies now that looks really cool if they put him in clothy tights it would look silly and it wouldn't read all that well on screen yes they use it in the Nicholas Hammond 
TV show movies that were on in the 70s, and but but you know, uh, audiences are a little less accepting of things like that nowadays. And the Spider-Man suit looked awesome in the Tobey Maguire movies, uh, but it didn't didn't look like something that a high school student could have made or would have had the money to put together. Look at uh, the Captain America movie. I've heard the same complaint that uh, about Superman, and they say, "Look, this is the Captain. Look at the Captain America suit. It's exactly what it is." No, it isn't. If you look at Captain America, who happens to be on a shirt behind me, he has these wings jutting out from the side. He has this giant A. Um, he has. Uh, it's kind of an armored, layered chainmail look. Uh, it's not a jacket that goes over top. It's kind of a one piece, and it kind of does have a separated area for the crotch area. His boots flare out and are folded over. His gloves flare out and are folded over. They're things that wouldn't look that cool in a modern superhero movie, or at least they feel like it wouldn't. So they streamline the costume. They have similarities. They have things people will like about it, but they change it up, just like they're doing with Superman. Wolverine on the shirt behind me has that yellow and blue look that just wouldn't work on screen. Now some people say it would be fine and maybe it would, but what they're trying to go for is yes, a slightly darker, slightly more realistic take on these uniforms that these people might wear. Look at Thor. In the Thor comic books he has giant uh, silver button type things and a fold over thing on Thor's uniform in the movie. It's similar, it has a similar look, but it's not exactly the same. It looks more functional. Uh, uh, Black Widow Hawkeye. They don't look anything like they look in the comic books. They don't have these purple, weird, pointy masks on. This is what they do in movies. This is a normal thing. It's not It's not all that odd. Uh, in fact, only, the only superhero movie that really kept his costume the way it might have looked in the comics was the original Superman movies with Donner. And, and, and even then, as I said earlier, they didn't really explain where he got it from, what it was made of, why he was wearing tights. Uh, it just didn't make a whole lot of sense and uh, I like the darker blues, and I don't mind the textures. And uh, not having the panties there doesn't really bother me either. Uh, think about this the next time you head out to the movies, or skip it all together because you know the Avengers costumes are going to be slightly different than they are in the comics. Thanks for watching, everybody, and remember, A L U I G S.